Hi everyone out there on YouTube, this is David from DP Computing. Today we're just going to do a quick teardown of a Lenovo Think Center E73Z. Um, it's just a brief teardown to show you how to upgrade the memory, the RAM, or memory and RAM are the same thing, aren't they? Memory, hard drive, and optical drive of this unit. It's an all-in-one unit as we can see here. We can see sort of the ports and everything on the back. Now we have to get this back cover off, which is the main thing. Now before we continue, just a word of warning, proceed at your own risk and please take anti-static precautions. So I'm just putting on an anti-static wrist strap at the moment, so there we go. Now, as I said, we have to get this back cover off and that's done by removing three screws. Now there's one there, one on the other side just here and also one under the little rubber grommet there. So I'll just get that little rubber grommet off. So, so remove that little rubber grommet and remove the screw there. Now once that screw's loose, you can see the back thing can come off. So the little, um, stand can come off so that just comes off just be wary it's got two little tabs at the top there but they are metal so you can't really snap them off but you might just damage some of the plastic in there once you've got the back stand off just remove the two screws at the bottom here so these won't remove totally just unscrew them until you can hear it sort of clicking when turning them around So do the same with the other side, just keep unscrewing until you hear it sort of clicking. Some of that clicking as well is the case itself moving away from the back panel. Now there's also across the top here there's another clip there which you may need to get a sort of flathead screwdriver just underneath the back panel here just to prise it away. There we go. So. That's the innards of this unit. Now we've got the hard drive which is seated under here, the optical drive, fan, the memory is under this panel here. So what we have to do first off, we can do the actual optical um, hard drive which is here. If you see here it's got a little cover, just remove that cover and we get access to the actual serial and power connector. So just pull that power connector and SATA connector off and then we've got one screw which is down here we remove that screw and then the actual hard drive itself is in a little caddy so it's just held in by another four screws so one two on the other side three four for um, just to make this video a bit quicker I won't actually remove the hard drive from the caddy but there we go. Once you remove that, you can replace the hard drive or upgrade it to an SSD or something like that. Now the optical drive is seated here. That's held in by one screw. So again, these are just Phillips head screws. So once that's removed, you can just slide it out. And when you slide it, the actual SATA and power connector is just sitting under there. So you can just pull that out. The optical drive itself. So that's the optical drive. Um, the model number here is GTA0N or ON. So if you need to replace it, that's the actual unit there. Now, as I said, the memory is hidden under this panel here. So that's got two screws. There's one screw at this side here and one screw down there. So I'll just remove those two screws. Oops, I removed the wrong screw there, it's the one next to it. The other screw there is for this panel here. So 
So here you can see we've got the CPU hidden under there, which is a heat sink to the fan and bigger heat sink. We've got memory here, the BIOS battery is there. I've got some USB 3 ports there and memories here. One slot's free and it's got 4 gig in. To remove the memory, there's two little silver tabs, just pull them outwards, the memory will pop up and then you can slide it out. You can just reverse what you've done, just make sure the little tab there is lined up with the hole, just push it in and then push it down until it clips. Now, that's probably most of this. You can remove this panel here, but that's really nothing. It's got the power and some more USB connections, your uh, video and network connection. So there we are. That's just a very brief teardown of the um, Lenovo Think Center E73Z. Hope you liked it, and if you have any questions or queries, just please leave them below. We've also done a, a new unboxing of this model as well, so please click on the link now. Thanks very much, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.